Hi, good morning, Shannon. Good morning. So what brings you today here? I'm looking for a acne treatment or something to help with my acne. I've been fighting for about 15 years. Excellent. So you had uh, acne for 15 years and I assume that you have used many treatments. Yes. And still breaking out. Yes. Okay. So uh, now today we have options in order to treat the acne and also improve the skin quality for any acne scars or large pores and so on. So actually in order to treat the acne and the acne scars we have different options. One of them is using the lasers. Even with the lasers we have uh, options where we can do a treatment with almost no downtime which is going to um, uh, kill the bacteria and also stimulate the collagen. So we are improving the acne and improving the acne scars and the te texture of the skin. But this will require few sessions, maybe three or four sessions, sometimes five for resistant cases. Uh, and it's associated with no downtime. On the other hand, we can fasten the improvement and use another type of laser, which is going to remove very superficial layer of the skin in order to give chance for the uh, sebaceous glands to get its uh, products and the sebum outside the skin. So the clearance is going to be much better. If we are doing the combination treatment, we are going to expect some redness of the skin, erythema, which might stay for one or two days. So if this is okay with you, then I'm going to do uh, two types of lasers in the same session, where we are going to heat the deeper layers of the skin. And this is a treatment where you will feel very slight heating. There is no pain associated. It's less than the pain associated with the laser hair removal. And after that, we are going to be doing a very superficial peeling of the skin. And usually, again, this is not going to be painful. Okay. So if that's OK with you, then we'll start the treatment. Yep. OK? OK. Excellent. In this uh, case, as we can see, um, we are not seeing any skin laxity or cystic acne, which requires deeper heating, where we can use the piano mode of uh, the laser system. So in this case, uh, we are going to be do doing only the FRAC3 and the superficial peeling of the skin in order to target the epidermis and the dermis to stimulate the collagen and uh, affect the bacteria and get rid of uh, the inflammation in the skin, as we mentioned in the uh, presentation before. Regarding the treatment strategy, uh, we usually go deeper and then more superficial. And this requires that we are going to do the FRAC3 treatment first which is going to go for the deeper layers of the skin, for the derms. And after that, this is going to be followed by superficial peeling using the Urbimiag portion of the SP Dynamis uh, system. When we are setting up uh, the machine, we have to start with the NDEG. So we are going to go to the uh, NDEG. We select that. And uh, we have options here, presets, where we can go for the acne. However, my protocol requires uh, different settings, which I'm going to set up the machine for, as you are going to see. And this is a nice feature of the uh, Fortuna SP Dynamis, where we have presets, which you can use, but with, after some experience, you can use your own settings and then save it, as I'm going to do now. So we are going to go to the expert mode. And with the expert, uh, I'm going to be using the FRAC3 with the handpiece selected is the R33. We are going, this is the R33 handpiece, and I'm going to be using the 9mm spot size. So I do the setup for the 9mm spot. I use the FRAC3, which is the short pulse duration of the uh, Fotona SP Dynamis, and with 0.6 millisecond. When I'm using 0.6 millisecond, this is going to uh, uh, limit the heat to the micro vessels and the water, and this is going to be very uh, uh, good in activating and stimulating the collagen synthesis. And then I'm using 15 millimeter, uh, 15 joule per centimeter squ uh, square, and I'm going to be using 5 hertz, which is quite rapid. And that's why I have to be always in continuous motion so that I'm not heating the skin too much. So those are the settings, as you can see on the screen. The R33 handpiece with 9 millimeter spot. 0.6 millisecond, 15 joule per centimeter square, and 5 hertz. And as I mentioned before, those settings are not in the presets, so we can save it. So I go to uh, uh, save it now, and I would write that this is acne.
So this is active, uh, active acne treatment and the program is saved. And this is something we can always add on whenever we learn about a new protocol or we feel comfortable with a certain uh, setting. So once the machine is set up, then I'm uh, replacing the handpiece in its place. We have to uh, let the patient wear the patient goggle and then we wear the goggle and then we start the treatment. So this so that okay. how is it that's good okay. okay so now the the face has been cleaned and it's very important to clean the face before we start the laser treatment in order to improve the optical penetration of the lasers any makeup any sebum any sweat uh, any sunscreen has to be removed from the surface of the skin the patient has to wear the goggle, the patient goggle, and also the operator has to be wearing the uh, laser goggle. Now, usually we start the treatment with deep layers of the skin, and then we go more superficial. As we uh, mentioned before, in this case, we are not going to use the piano mode, which is the deep heating, because we don't have uh, skin laxity, so we don't need to tighten the skin to improve the acne scars. Uh, we are going to start with the FRAC3, which is the uh, short pulse duration of the NDAG in order to stimulate the collagen synthesis and also to heat up the sebaceous glands uh, leading to its shrinkage, so less sebum is going to be produced, and the heat also kills the propionobacterium acne, so we are getting rid of the uh, pathology, different steps of the pathology. So this is going to be the objective of uh, using the FRAC3. After finishing the FRAC3, we are going to end the treatment with superficial peeling using the Erbium YAG with a micro short pulse in order to uh, remove the hyperkeratotic epidermis uh, from the skin and this is going to improve uh, the structure and the function of the epidermis and this is going to aid in improving uh, the acne for the patient. So we are going to put the machine on ready. We ensure that the handpiece selected is the, what, uh, the, the one on the display, and this is a safety feature. The uh, machine is giving you warning to make sure that you are using the appropriate handpiece and wearing the right goggles. And then the, when the laser is ready, we can see the aiming beam, which is going to show you where the laser is going to be emitted. And then we start the treatment. As we said, it is five hertz, so the laser has to be uh, in continuous motion otherwise we can lead to some uh, too much heating of the skin so usually I ask the patient to tilt, tilt her face to the other side and then slight, uh, slight stretching of the skin is going to help we start the laser as you can see it is 5 Hertz so 5 pulses per second and we have to be in continuous motion so that the skin does not heat up too much. So we try to work in a very, very homogeneous fashion to cover the skin very homogeneously. We expect some redness and some erythema. Usually in fair skin patients, like in the case of Shannon, we get the redness and the erythema very quickly. We can see the redness already started and we have to be in continuous motion so the patient is not feeling too much uh, heat. Shannon, how do you feel? I feel okay. Can you let us know? Yeah, I can feel the heat, but it's not awful. Excellent. So what Shannon is saying that uh, she is feeling the heat, but it is not too much. It is very tolerable heat. And this is what we expect. I already started to see the redness and this is what exactly we expect. Uh, redness in this case is not going to be the end point. We expect uh, to have the temperature rising up to 42 degrees and maintain that for three minutes so uh, either we have a temperature sensor in the handpiece and this is one of the options photona can provide or we have infrared thermometer 
uh, in order to mon monitor the temperature and make sure that we reach to the uh, uh, appropriate temperature level, which is about 42 degrees, and maintain that for three minutes. This is going to ensure that we are um, uh, able to control the acne and stimulate the collagen. I think it's very obvious that we got the redness, which we expect, and still we can see that the temperature is very tolerable and the treatment is not too painful. Right, Shannon? Right. Excellent. So this is the infrared thermometer where we can see that the temperature is 42 degrees. I don't know if the camera can show that or no, but uh, we keep uh, treating till we reach to the temperature of 42 and then we maintain the temperature for three minutes. This will ensure that we uh, reach it to the desired temperature and this is going to improve the quality of the skin in a very nice way. Usually we don't use cooling because if we use cooling, then this is going to counteract the effect we would like to achieve. So no cooling is uh, required in this treatment and still the treatment is very tolerable. And now I'm treating the whole uh, cheek, as we can see, in order to have homogeneous distribution of pulses and temperature uh, rise is going to be very homogeneous everywhere. And this is a very important key in order to achieve good results and good outcome. So the temperature now is 42. So this means that we reach the required temperature and we would like to maintain this temperature for about three minutes. And as we can see, stretching the skin uh, very mildly is going to help in improving the outcome because this will improve the optical penetration of the laser and at the same time the heat is going to uh, lead to better shrinkage of collagen in this case. We expect uh, this treatment to induce some remission of the acne and also stimulation of collagen. So within three sessions of that treatment on three to four weeks interval, we expect the skin uh, quality to improve and the acne to uh, subside a little bit. Of course, this requires some other steps as we are going to uh, uh, demonstrate in the next step of the treatment, which is the superficial peeling in order to improve the quality of the epidermis. So the redness is very clear now. Sometimes we need to focus also on the sites of uh, the pimples, the acne, the acne lesions, the papules, uh, in order to target the bacteria. And this is going to again improve the outcome. So we have this painting, which is going to be very homogeneously increasing the temperature of the skin. But at the same time, the areas where we have some papules or pustules, then we can focus the pulses in order to have better healing heating for these lesions and this will kill the bacteria. Shannon, are you still okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can see that the patient, uh, although we are not using any cooling, but still the treatment is very tolerable and uh, the three minutes are almost over for this area. And then we are going to move to another area with the same technique. The full face uh, treatment with this frac free uh, technique would take about 15 minutes. One of the options, if the patient is too sensitive and feeling that the pain is uh, a little bit higher than uh, the expectations, then we can use the six millimeter spot size instead of the nine. 
uh, this is going to be associated with less penetration and with less pain. But if the patient can tolerate the 9 millimeter spot, then this is going to be revealing a better clinical outcome. So it depends. But this is flexibility in the machine and uh, we have the options of using a smaller spot size in order to decrease the pain if the patient is feeling too much uh, pain. So we can see that the temperature is 42.7, which is okay, and that uh, went for three minutes, so we can move to the other side of the face. And after that, we are going to be working on uh, the forehead. So again, we start with painting. Very mild stretching of the skin. And we have to be always in dynamic motion. Uh, this is very important because if we are too slow or if uh, the pulses are stacked too much on one point, this will heat up the skin too much and it can be painful to the skin and also it can cause problems. So this is something we have to avoid. We have to be moving the handpiece in a very homogeneous fashion all the time. We can see the redness, the erythema started to show. And I'm trying to do the treatment in different directions so that I'm covering the skin in a more homogeneous fashion. I try to focus on the areas of problems. So if a certain area is having pimples, then we try to do more pulses in this area. If another area is having uh, white pores, then also we focus on this area in order to stimulate the collagen and improve the size of the pores. Shannon, are you okay? Yeah. Good. As mentioned earlier, this treatment is going to stimulate the collagen synthesis and will improve the acne. Collagen synthesis is something which happens very gradually. So after this treatment, uh, collagen is going to be deposited in the skin after three weeks. So for three weeks, we have to wait for the collagen to be deposited. And also it's important to remember that the newly deposited collagen is immature collagen. It's not going to be fully functional. The maturation of the collagen requires six to eight months. So this means that the quality of the skin and the texture of the skin is going to be gradually improving for six to eight months after the treatment. And because of that, it's always very important to document the condition of the skin before the start. Uh, photography is very important to have the baseline condition of the skin and uh, uh, to have it as a reference. Because sometimes when the improvement is happening very gradually, the patient might not observe the change or the improvement. So documentation and having the photo of before the treatment is very important as a reference. We can see that the temperature uh, is almost there. So we can see that it is 42 degrees now. And what we would like to do is to maintain the temperature for three minutes more at this level. So we have to be again painting the pulses of laser on the surface of the skin in a very homogeneous and systematic way so that we are keeping the temperature at the desired level for the three minutes. The technique is very simple and it is uh, very safe as well. We expect after this treatment, if this is going to be the only treatment, to have this redness which we are seeing for 10-15 minutes after the treatment and that's it. So this is called a lunchtime procedure. There is no downtime expected and uh, the patient can finish the treatment and go to the have lunch with her friends or go to a party and uh, this is a very safe and very effective treatment. I really like it. I use it in many uh, skin conditions to uh, stimulate the collagen, like patients coming for large pores or fine wrinkles or lines, or even for 
uh, stimulation of the collagen and restoring the volume of the lips. So it is a treatment which I'm using in so many conditions uh, in the skin. And patients are finding it very effective for those who are having patients. Uh, if, pa if patients are uh, very eager to have fast results, maybe this is not going to be uh, used alone. We might need to do combination with something which is going to reveal faster outcome. And this is a good uh, feature of uh, Photona SP Dynamis where we have many, many other options uh, to be used in combination with this FRAC3 treatment in order to have faster results if this is uh, what the patient is looking for. So we are almost done. The three minutes are almost over in maintaining the temperature. And we can see that uh, still the treatment is very tolerable and the pain level is acceptable. Shannon, if you uh, give a score for the pain from zero, mm -hmm. which is no pain at all, to 10, which is the most severe pain you can imagine, mm -hmm. what's the score? I'd say maybe four. Maybe four. So Shannon is feeling okay. that the pain is around four, which I think without uh, using any cooling, it is very much acceptable level of pain. And as I said, uh, the downtime is nil, 10, 15 minutes of erythema and that's it. And there is no complications because there is no crust, there is no wound, there is no risk of hyperpigmentation. It's really a very safe uh, treatment and um, is very effective as well. So this is a very nice combination. Everyone is looking for something to be safe and effective at the same time. And this is what we can offer with this kind of treatment. So the three minutes are almost done. I'm going to treat uh, the chin area now with the same technique. Because now we are working on a slightly smaller area so the uh, temperature will rise a little bit faster. So we have to be moving our hand a little bit faster. The upper lip is more sensitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is this is normal. But it's good because when we work around the lips and on the lips, this stimulates the collagen. So it boosts the volume of the lip also in a very nice fashion. And this is uh, what we use for lip rejuvenation if this is the objective of the patient. We can see the redness and this is exactly what we expect. So this is the treatment for the chin. So we covered almost the whole face. Now, uh, we need to treat the forehead as well. But for the forehead, I would go for the six millimeter spot. Why is that? Because uh, the forehead is lying over the bone. So the bone is going to be reflecting the heat. And usually the patients are feeling uh, uh, the heat a little bit more. So using the six millimeter spot is going to be more appropriate when we are treating the forehead. So this is what I'm going to be doing. Once I finish here, I'll be changing the handpiece from the uh, nine millimeter to the six millimeter. And in this case, the pain is going to be less. If we don't have the six millimeter, because sometimes it's not available, then instead of using 15 joule per centimeter square, as we are using now, I can go down to 10 joule per centimeter square and this also is going to be a very tolerable uh, pain level for the forehead. So now we finished the chin, the face, the two cheeks, and also we treated uh, the nose. And this is going to be enough to stimulate the collagen and uh, control the acne, as we can see. Now we are going to be treating the forehead. So now what we did is that we changed the handpiece from nine millimeter to six millimeter so that we can treat the forehead. Uh, this is something you don't have to do, but when we do it, we do it in order to decrease the pain. We can do it in a different way by using the 9 millimeter and decreasing the fluence from 15 joules down to 10 joules. But uh, here I prefer to go to the 6 millimeter spot with 15 joules and we are going to treat the forehead. 
so as we can see the spot size is a little bit smaller and it's still five hertz Sharon how is that it's, it's fine okay yeah it's better it's I can better I can tell the difference yeah so Shannon is saying that now the pain is less because this is the six millimeter spot and it's going to be more superficial so we expect the pain to be less although we are using the same fluence 15 joule per centimeter square We can see that the, even the redness, the erythema is occurring a little bit deeper, uh, a little bit later. Uh, so this is again expected because the depth of penetration with the six millimeter is a little bit more superficial than if we are using the nine millimeter. I started to see the redness, which is a little bit later than if I'm using the nine millimeter. It's important to avoid the hair when we are doing that treatment Otherwise, the hair can be uh, removed, of course, <laughs> of course, uh, temporarily, because with this uh, short pulse duration, we don't expect effect on the hair follicles, but only the shaft, which is occurring over the uh, skin surface, can be affected. But still, we need to avoid that as much as we can. Now we can see the redness, the erythema, which is very homogeneous, and this is exactly what we expect and what we want to see very nice result very homogeneous redness and the theme of the skin we focus on the areas of problems like if we have pimples if we have some uh, scars or white pores this is what we would like to focus on uh, but the pulses are very homogeneously covering the surface of the skin as we can see So half of the forehead is done and we can see uh, the difference between the treated side and the untreated side. We can see the redness, the erythema and how homogeneous it is. This is exactly what we would like to see. And we start with the other half. How is it going? It's good. Good. We don't need to apply uh, topical anesthesia for that treatment because the pain is very tolerable and also because we need the patient to feel if certain area was heated too much and let us know so we move away because we don't want the skin to be heated too much. 42 to 45 is the temperature we would like to target. And if it heats too much over that, we need the patient to let us know. So that's why the topical anesthesia is not advisable in that procedure. Though it is advisable for superficial peeling of the skin, which is the next step. So we have to know what uh, we are doing and how to structure the treatment plan and the treatment uh, uh, procedure. So we can see the erythema now and it's very obvious where we treated and where we didn't treat. So we can really uh, hardly skip an area without being treated unless we want to do that. So the forehead now is treated and I'm almost finishing it now. Now I would like to focus with the six millimeter on certain areas where we have some large pores 
like the nose or the cheek in order to get more collagen stimulation using the six millimeter will help me to go a little bit over the treatment area once again and this will definitely improve the outcome without any risk risk of any side effects or complications So I tried to treat uh, over the pimples or the acne, active acne lesions in order to control uh, the inflammatory process of the skin and decrease the inflammation. This is going to be much easier with the six millimeter spot over the nine millimeter because of the more superficial penetration with the six millimeter. So this is something which can uh, be done easily uh, for the second pass as I'm doing now. On the nose, the target here is to get more collagen stimulation to improve the pore size. As I mentioned, I try to target the areas of inflammation and active acne in order to put that under control. We are almost done with this step, which is the FRAC3 using the NDAG of SP Dynamis from Fortuna. And we can see that the treatment is really very easy, very simple, very tolerable, and uh, we'll see that it is very effective as well. So we are done with this step. And now what will be remaining is the last step, which is the superficial peeling of the epidermis using the Erbium egg. So now the next step, and this is going to be the last uh, step in this treatment session, we are going to be using the Erbium egg for superficial, superficial peeling of the skin in order to improve the structure of the epidermis. And this is definitely going to improve the process of acne. So we go to the Erbium egg, we go to home, and then we select the Erbium egg. With the Airbnb egg, I go again to the uh, expert mode where we are going to be doing very superficial peeling. I'm, be, I'm going to be using the R11 handpiece. And the R11 handpiece is the full beam uh, of the Airbnb egg. And this is what we need to do the uh, homogenous treatment of the skin. And then we are using the MSP, which is the micro short pulse. And with this, uh, pulse duration we are uh, ensuring that the thermal effect is going to be minimal the coagulation is minimal and this will ensure that the downtime is going to be very short and this is what we do when we want just to ablate portion of the epidermis so we are going to be using the seven millimeter spot size uh, we'll be using two joule per centimeter square 1.6 joules and it is going to be five hertz with 5 hertz, 5 pulses per second, we have to be very uh, quick. With 1.6 joule per centimeter square, we are removing only 5 microns of the surface of the skin. So even if we have some overlap, up to 10 microns of the uh, peel, uh, ablation of the skin is going to be very tolerable. The redness is expected to be maybe for one, maximum two days, and this is something the patient was informed about. So we'll start the treatment and see the effect on the skin so those are the parameters and then we are going to uh, put the machine on ready 
and we start the treatment. So now this is going to be a different uh, uh, pain sensation. It's going to be still very tolerable, but it's a little bit more superficial. Yeah, there is loud sound. How is the pain? Okay. Is it okay? Yeah. So we can we can hear this loud sound. This is about five microns ablation of the surface of the skin. Again, we have to be uh, going very homogeneously as possible. And we can see this white coloration, which is the protein coagulation. And of course, we have to understand that when we go close to the mouse, the lips is a little bit more sensitive. <laughs> so this is expected, but still it is within the mm -hmm. tolerable range. I'll keep the lips for the last step <laughs> so that she doesn't run away. Almost done. Yes, <laughs> this is this is the worst part, but it's going to be quick. This is a little bit more sensitive than any other body part, but we are done. Done. Just just two more. One. Two. <laughs> okay. So now this step is done, which is the superficial peeling of the uh, epidermis of the skin using the Herbie Miag with micro short pulse. As we can see, it is a step which didn't take more than maybe four or five minutes maximum. Uh, very tolerable. The patient is not running away, as we can see. 
and uh, what we need to do after that is to apply some good moisturizer which is not irritating the skin we have to keep in mind that the absorption of the uh, active ingredients after this step is going to be uh, much more significant so we have to make sure that what we apply is a moisturizer which doesn't have anything to irritate the skin what we are going to be applying is a product from uh, Turkcan which is having uh, some emollients, moisturizers, and uh, also products to promote the healing. And this is something which is very important in order to make sure that the skin is going to be healing very quickly. Uh, we expect to have some redness and erythema. Of course, now the machine is on standby, so we can remove the patient goggles. Finally, can, she can see. Okay. and we are going to be applying uh, the moisturizer we have to be very gentle in dealing with the skin the skin now is fragile Sharon how do you feel after this treatment? I feel good good uh, is it burning? is it uh, too much painful? what do you feel? right now I feel like I have a little bit of a mild sunburn Okay, so she's feeling mild sunburn, which is the, uh, what we expect after treatment like that. And this feeling might stay there for a uh, few hours, but we have to apply the moisturizers frequently. So we can apply it every three, four hours okay. in order to make sure that the skin is well uh, moisturized. And this will prevent having um, scabs and crusts which are uh, sometimes happening if we keep the skin too dry. Okay. So if we keep applying uh, moisturizer every three, four hours, then everything will run very smoothly and the uh, redness might be there for one or two days. After that, it's going to go away and you will feel that your skin is very fresh and uh, no problems at all. So we can see that uh, the skin is really a little bit red, but other than that, uh, other than that, we don't have any major issue. Uh, Shannon can uh, very easily go out, have lunch with her friends, or even go to a party. <laughs> any plans for tonight? For tonight, taking care of my kids. Yeah, good. So <laughs> she will be able to take care of her kids very comfortably without any problem with anything. We expect uh, to see her again within a week just to make sure that everything is okay. However, the next session is going to be within three to four weeks. Okay. So within a week, we are going to see you in order to make sure that is okay. Uh, you will have the moisturizer which I applied okay. where you need to apply it every three hours okay. for the first two days and after that you will need to use your sunblock yeah. again every three hours in order to avoid any problems okay. but um, I think we are done and uh, the treatment uh, is not very painful I think so I hope you are happy thank you excellent yeah I feel like I just so. looked like I went for a run <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 So, just the like, lip and the nose. Like when you did the laser right on the edge of my nose and my lip, I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's laser. Yeah. <laughs> but nothing like everything else. So one of the important things to be kept in mind is that after a procedure like that, sunscreen is very important. And sometimes with patients who are prone for acne, using certain sunscreens might increase the problem and aggravate the acne because it clogs the pores, the skin pores. So one of the very good options is to have the color science, the sun forgettable, which is uh, mineral powder. And this product uh, has different advantages. Number one, you can apply it over the makeup while you are working or while you are outside without uh, ruining up your makeup. It is just powder and it has different colors so you can pick the color which matches your skin color. The other thing is that it doesn't clog the pores so it doesn't increase the acne. So this is something which uh, we have to be using. Okay. Sunscreen, in order to be effective, we have to apply it every three hours because after three hours it ha doesn't have any effect. So having a product like that would definitely help you to be able to apply it as required. And this will improve any problems of the skin like photo damage or increasing the acne or whatever. Okay. So this is something which I really highly recommend. Okay. okay?